There is more to life than simply increasing its speed. Mahatma Gandhi The modern world offers so many technological achievements and opens up so many opportunities to humanity, it becomes simply impossible for one person to master them all. The availability of traveling, dating, food, and technology provides us with a greater variety of experiences than our ancestors could ever fathom. But it also poses a big problem. After all, our brain cannot process more information than it's designed for. Because of that, the quality of all those emotions, in pursuit of which we tend to spend our lives, suffers a lot. Sure, the pace of life is not going to slow down anytime soon. How often do you find yourself losing your mind with the stuff going on around you? Is it possible to shake things up somehow? Well, today we're about to show you the philosophy of slow living. Perhaps this is exactly what will allow you to breathe life in a new way and finally start enjoying it, as we did in our carefree childhood. What is the philosophy of slow living? The philosophy of slow living is a concept meant to slow down the pace of our lives. This includes not only resisting the desire to keep up with the world around us, but also reducing consumption. It goes not only about food, but about the amount of content we take on a daily basis. This teaching aims to get rid of stress, one of the most common mental problems of modern people. It helps to preserve and improve some of the aspects of life to get pleasure not from quantity, but from quality. This philosophy promotes a more attentive attitude towards time, nature, society, and oneself. Slow living strives to help people focus on what's really important and enjoy life to the fullest. This does not necessarily mean a complete rejection of technology or the absence of activities we got used to do, but it rather gives priority to a thoroughly balanced, thoughtful, and conscious life. Real luxury is not working like a maniac to take an expensive vacation. It is living a life you enjoy every day, says author Kathy Gottberg. Perhaps it could serve as the best description of what the philosophy of slow living leads us to. This way of thinking is based on several principles. Let's take a look at some of them. Firstly, you should focus on the moment always immersed in plans and thoughts. We always ponder over what we'll have or where we'll be in a week, month, year, or 10 years. The desire to achieve our goals often turns us into absolute maniacs who don't pay attention to details around us. Philosophy, on the other hand, seeks to teach us to enjoy every moment, to treat it with maximum attention. You know, there is nothing but here and now in reality we live in. And what's the point of living if you don't appreciate the only reality we have? Another principle is based on conscious consumption. Doesn't matter if we are talking about food, shopping, or movies. Everything should be set within limits and meet our needs. You shouldn't rush like a madman to all that glitters and seems trendy enough to bring it home. Moreover, the philosophy of slow life requires offline communication. This is especially relevant now, considering the vast majority of our communication going online. Create connections with new people, don't forget about the people you hold near and dear, and spend time supporting them. Among other principles, it's worth mentioning closeness to nature and full focus on self-discovery. We covered this one in more detail in our other video on how to stay in the flow of life. We'll leave a link to it at the end of this episode. Slow living isn't about determining how little we can live with, it's about working out what we simply can't live without," states Nathan Williams, author of the book titled The Kinfolk Home. This simple thought also greatly emphasizes the understanding of the slow living philosophy. Throw away everything useless and devote all your time to what actually brings you pleasure. Interpretation of the Philosophy of Slow Life the philosophy of slow living works well with literally every area of our life. Let's prove it to you. Our final quote is from The Kinfolk Home by Nathan Williams. Do you know what it's about? Believe it or not, 
It's about building houses, though it still matches with the principles of slow life philosophy. Okay, give it another look. There is a man named Carlo Petrini, who lives in Italy, an Italian writer, sociologist, and founder of the international slow food movement. He is one of the main propagandists of the idea based on slowing down our consumption pace and returning to traditional cooking, giving special attention to the ethical and ecological aspects of food. Mr. Petrini is known to be an ardent follower of ideas behind the philosophy of slow life, with the food aspect being his field of knowledge. In order to give you an idea of how deeply he is immersed in this idea, here's a fact. In October 2004, Carlo founded the University of Gastronomic Sciences, which is dedicated to educating new chefs and innovators in the field of sustainable food systems. I was rich, if not in money, in sunny hours and summer days, and spent them lavishly. Nor do I regret that I did not waste more of them in the workshop or the teacher's desk," wrote Henry Thoreau, an American writer, philosopher, and naturalist. As you might have guessed, he is yet another follower of the slow life philosophy. What's more, Henry approached this matter with maximum efficiency by renouncing civilization for two years and going to live in the forest cabin he built himself at some point. Later on, Henry described the whole experience in his Walden book. You can familiarize yourself with it if you're interested. A number of interesting thoughts are guaranteed to come to you. It would be also worth mentioning the Canadian journalist and writer Carl Honoro. He is one of the famous propagandists of the slow life philosophy. His contribution lies in popularizing the idea of slowing down the pace of life, commitment to smart consumption, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. One of Carl Honoro's main achievements lies in his book In Praise of Slowness, Challenging the Cult of Speed, published back in 2004. Even then, he investigated how fast consumption, technology, and constant stress affect our quality of life and push for instant haste. Imagine how much everything has escalated in these almost 20 years. Among other things, Honoro is also a supporter of the slow food movement mentioned earlier. He opposes the idea of imposing a philosophy of chasing success in school on children and stands for the development of pedestrian-friendly cities. All this is in the spirit of the philosophy of slow life. How to join the party if you've watched our video up to this point, that means you're indeed interested in the philosophy of slow living. So let's talk about what steps you could take to begin integrating it into your own life. Judging by the aforementioned principles, the basics must be quite clear. Try to enjoy the moment, do everything at your own pace without chasing someone or something, and spend more time with nature. Now we'd like to give you some more specific tips aimed to help you on your way to harmony. The first is to give up multitasking. There is a certain degree of probability that you are watching this video while simultaneously eating and chatting in the messenger. Red flag! Multitasking is a straight way to stress and productivity reduction. Our brain tries to do everything at the same time, although it's not designed for it. Results greatly suffer from such a way of thinking and you are starting to get annoyed. From there on, the logical chain with depression as the final stop looks clear as day. Try to focus on one task at a time, completely isolating yourself from every other activity. Tip number two, regularly review your habits. Pay close attention to those things in your routine that throw you out of balance and excessively tire you. The same applies to things. Get rid of everything that gathers dust on your shelves. This should especially apply to our inability to give up overwork. The, if I refuse my boss or customer now, then tomorrow I will live in a dumpster impression constantly eats us away mentally. Therefore, learn to say no and find the right balance between work and personal life. And one more piece of advice, always stay open to new knowledge. Read books and articles about the philosophy of slow life and learn new ideas and methods of implementing them in your life. After all, our advice may not work for you, and only by expanding your knowledge, you may find exactly what will suit you perfectly. Again, implementing this philosophy into your life may be a slow process for some, so don't try to grasp everything at once. Enjoy the ride. 
A great way to end our video would be with a quote from the Slow Life philosophy follower and the author of the Chasing Slow book, Aaron Loschetner. Ask a bird how to fly, and it might tell you to remove the weight from your wings. So, we wish you an easy flight. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. This will help this video's promotion and the overall development of our channel. Also, write in the comments below whether the ideas of slow life philosophy resonate with you and what interesting thoughts you noted. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.